So I'm coming to you live from my bedroom. Hi. Um, just warming up the face a little. I've had to make a foundation today out of, I shall show you the products I used to make a foundation. I used End Spa Brightening Day Cream with SPF 15 from Asda and it's always on offer and it's actually a pretty good uh, cream and I also used 010 Ivory in Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer just to get like a a base really because I have been using the L'Oreal True Match in Rose Ivory and <laughs> finished it okay so you may be looking at me wondering why I've got brown lines around my face um, oh and I applied that mixture of moisturizer and stuff using this which is like a beauty blender a miracle complexion sponge as real techniques call it but it's neither of those it's from Wilkinson's and it's just as good I imagine I don't know I've never used one of the the expensive ones um, you just wet it until it gets massive and it looks like that little thing off that energy advert doesn't it um, and then I just use it to blend in all of the liquid products or cream anything that's not a powder basically just give myself a pair of cheekbones there i've not even started on the eyebrows you're looking forward to that in fact i might let my hair down i washed it um when you've got mental health problems one of the things that suffers is your personal hygiene well speaking from personal experience one of the things that suffers is personal hygiene and when i had my nervous breakdown in april i didn't wash my hair for maybe two months and i ended up with really bad sores on my scalp and now part of my ocd i can't stop picking them so they're never gonna heal so hopefully when i get put on a new tablet next week the desire to pick will piss off Oh yeah, I also put a little bit of that brown... Is that that I used in my last video, if you watched it? The um, Precision Contouring Stick by Collection in 01 Light. And it's like the greyest tone. So if you're someone as light as me, it just gives the natural appearance of, you know, a shadow rather than... You know, because no one has, like, bright orange face there no one unless you've done a bad tan i don't know i've never done that can you imagine me with an orange face <laughs> right okay all right so um you'll have to forgive me if i like go off the screen it's because i've not got my glasses on it, it's a struggle to find out like anything um just brush my, my brows through oh also i should mention um, before I started filming this per all of your requests all three of them um, I applied to my lids um, Urban Decay Grind Eyeshadow which is just this really pale glittery number um, I don't even know if that glitter is going to really show on this because I'm in artificial no, it's bullshit basically, it's not showing. Um, but underneath that is a colour tattoo in... Let me put my glasses on. It's pathetic having to put your glasses on in order to find something. A colour tattoo in... It's like called like creme de rose or something. Anyway, I can't find it. Um, but I thought, because I usually go like really neutral and stuff, that I would mix the tip a bit. And... Can I open this devil? It's another one of those Urban Decay eyeshadow singles in the colour flip side. Now, I bought these about five years ago off eBay. They may well be fake, but 
the colour payoff's really good. I think the colour of that's lovely. So I'm just going to use that on the outer eye um, in a bit. Not yet. There's another process. I need to do my eyebrows first. Um, I need to put the glasses on again in order to buy my brow chisels. wonder if this is how Zoella feels when she's... No, I suppose she can see, can't she? Fucking bitch with all the millions of pounds. Um, right, now, I'm using... This is a really ancient Avon eyeshadow palette called Suaded Nude. And I cannot find it anywhere. I bought it years ago. And I can't find it on eBay even. I'm... <laughs> really really scared for the day that it runs out so that was like a beigey colour there and I use a combination of this one and this one mixed together to do the main brow but I use that after I've used a collection eyebrow definer in blonde, three blonde okay. uh, again it's like it's got that like tote universal taupe I believe it's referred to and I hold it at the very end to get the least pressure because I look like an absolute psychopath if I have really dark eyebrows sometimes I'll darken them a little bit if I'm doing like a really heavy smoky eye makeup because it just balances the face a little but generally speaking in fact, generally speaking, this is all I'll use. But seeing as I'm filming it, I'm going to go a bit mad and use loads of products. Well, I'm going to use two other products besides this. One of which is, uh, it was a birthday gift from my friends Fran and Matt. Shout out to Fran and Mateus. Can't say Polish names. I'm gonna to have to practice when they get for when they get married. I'm gonna to have to practice saying his surname. I shan't say it on camera now. I say that they're not even engaged, but I know they should be and they will be. They're a match made in heaven, if you ask me. Not that I believe in heaven. So does that negate the point? Now, my eyebrows are not only not twins, they're half-sisters. So, um, look at the... <laughs> For some reason, I've just got one brow that drops a lot lower than the other, so I have to do a bit more work on the other one in order to get it to look semi-human. Now I'm thinking of semi-sonic. You know, nobody knows it, but you've got a secret smile and you use it only for me. And then again, just going through with the spoolie. Keep it a bit more natural. I was watching a video by Pixie Woo and what they do is they use one of these. They get uh, soap and water and then they brush the brows up so all of the hairs are sticking up and they only have to fill in underneath and it looks really natural and it's apparently it's what like all the old movie stars of the 20s to 50s used to do well I'll say they did it the make the makeup artists who were mainly male surprisingly you know There we go, redefine it a little bit. Um, now the, the brushes that I'm using, all the ones with the white handles, that's they're all from a collection that I got off eBay about four years ago and they were like 12 quid. And I'm not a snob when it comes to brushes. As long as it's not made from mink, as long as it's synthetic, I'm happy. I don't believe in ethically sourced mink because they still have to be kept 
in a situation whereby their naturally shedding hairs can be collected. So, but that's just my personal opinion and something of an epiphany I've had since becoming a vegetarian. But I just think if you can find something that works and doesn't harm an animal, doesn't put it under duress, why not use the alternative? That's just, that's what I, they're my beliefs, yo. Does anyone else have a favourite eyebrow? Look how low that one is, look. Mark always skits me and goes like that. Um, I don't, it's not quite that bad, but it's getting there, isn't it, really? Now, the, the third product <coughs> is by Alicarte Cosmetics, and it is in the colour blonde. And it is like a felt tip. And it is so good at just doing, like, the odd little bit. And it just makes the odd hair or two show up. Oh, by the way, the dog, if you could hear that snorting in the background. Enjoying by the dog. She likes a makeup tutorial or two, does the dog. I'm going to be so sad when this pen runs out. Because it's like... And it lasts as well. Like when I wash my face or cleanse it, it tints your brows for like maybe two days. So it's okay. So if you use the wrong colour, just don't go out for two days. Or in my case, ever. <laughs> um, right, I need a colour that is going to work as a transitional colour. And I think, again, I'm going to use the colour that I used on my eyebrows, which is this one, mixed with that sort of orangey tone. And I'm just going to use that on a brush when I have located it. I need to put... Where are my glasses? That's the problem with, you know, when you wear glasses and you can't find your glasses. Once I was looking for them for about 20 minutes and they were on my head. <laughs> True story. Right, so I'm going to use um, a base shadow brush and to apply it. And then I'm going to, I believe, blend it out into the crease using one of these naked brushes that you get with the naked palette. I think it's from the Naked 3. That end's filthy. Apologies. This end isn't. I really need to get into the habit of cleaning brushes, but... It's hard enough when you're trying to get into the habit of cleaning yourself, let alone a brush. Yeah. Oh, you can see a little bit of the sparkle now on that. I mainly did it because I just wanted to brighten up this area here. Right, so brow bone, back and forth, barely putting any pressure on, windswipe motion. <laughs> get me. Yeah. I'm a trained makeup artist. If by that you mean putting makeup on, taking it off, putting it on, taking it off until you're blue in the face and or red in the face from taking it off, then yes, I am a makeup artist. I think, like, I don't think I could do makeup on anybody else. Like, I only know the contours of my own face. I really don't think I'd know what to do when it came to someone, someone else's face. Like, I can't imagine trying to apply mascara to somebody else. That seems bizarre to me. And I don't think I could let someone put mascara on me either. Although I think I did let my mum do it once when I was like, I don't know. You know, when you first get into makeup and you're like, you're like ooh, mum, mummy's makeup bag. And she'd just put it on me and then make me take it off. Obviously I wasn't allowed out with it on. Although I was allowed to wear lipstick to go to play school because otherwise I wouldn't go. I literally would not leave the house. I just have like a massive tantrum. Typical redhead. Although there is actually no evidence to suggest that we have more of a temper than anyone else. But I'm sure you knew that anyway. So 
So that works as a transitional colour for me because I'm white. The whitest, like the um, foundation I use by L'Oreal. Yes, I know that they are not an ethical company and that they sell to China who tests the products themselves. But find me a foundation I can afford that goes light enough and I will buy it that isn't mineral because I have um, years, a couple of years ago I bought some uh, mineral foundation and I'm allergic to one of the ingredients and in it. it was bare minerals so it was a good brand but apparently it's quite common and because I have to shave my face because I've got um, polycystic ovaries and I get a beard obviously it opens up, up a lot of the hair follicles so the agony was real um, but funnily enough I wasn't allergic to their mineral veil which was absolutely a beautiful finishing powder um, and if I ever happened upon the cash again I would certainly repurchase the, I mean their, found, their mineral foundation was beautiful if you're willing to sit there in absolute agony which I was <laughs> But I don't use it anymore. That's like total emergency products. Right. Let's contain this. We don't want it getting too out of hand. Now that wouldn't look too bad just like that with a bit of liquid liner and stuff. But... I'm feeling quite cheerful in that um, I've got some really good blood results today. So I thought, you know what, let's go mad. Let's go absolutely bananas and use a bit of colour for a change. So I'm going to use that. <laughs> I used to always wear bright coloured eyeshadow. Like, when I used to work at United Utilities, like, when I started there when I was about 16. I wouldn't be seen without like green or blue or something bright on the lid. You can lose definition, I think, though, if you don't add that transitional shade in the crease, especially if you're as fair as I am. You just, you, you look like a floating blue eye, um, which is fine, you know. It's a bit red dwarfy, really, isn't it? But I don't, I'm not, that's not the look I'm going for today. I'm going for a, oh look at the state of my nails. At least I've not bitten them. The only reason I haven't bitten them is because I've been picking up my scalp instead. Hi bae. And I can say that because I have some uh, Jewish history. So I'm, I'm allowed to say it. Well, saying that anyone's allowed to say anything they want, aren't they? And you choose to be insulted by it or not. Once I've finished applying this colour, the reason I'm using my finger is because these Urban Decay eyeshadows, because I believe that they are fake. Although, look at the colour payoff. That is really good colour payoff. I still believe them to be fake. And... They just won't go on well with a flat brush. They just won't pack on properly with a flat brush. I'm just going to go slightly above the crease into the transitional colour. Do you want to have a peek at the dog? Oh. I just know I'm going to get to the point of doing this makeup where it looks incredible and then I'm going to start doing my eyeliner, my liquid liner and it's going to fuck up. <sighs> I just know it. Like I fear it every time. Like I, I do liquid liner all the time and yet I still fear it. I'm just using a massive one of those eBay brushes just to brush away any fallout. I'll go over it again with concealer under the under eyes in a bit. 
Um, now I'll go back in with that transition colour just to make sure that there's no harsh lineage. That's not too bad. Right, eyeliner. Um, I had one from Soap and Glory, a liquid liner that was really fantastic and it lasted me absolutely ages before it dried out. I also got one free with a magazine. Um, I can't remember who made it. In fact, I might have kept it just... Oh, it was Ico. I've, I've kept both of them because I'm so sad. So it was the Super Cat liner that was really excellent, but it ran out. I've kept it to remind me of how good it was for if I ever get any money, I'll re repurchase it. I got this with the magazine, Ico. Really superb. Dries matte black. Great. This one, I'm still getting to grips with. Let's see how you go. I don't know what, what I'm doing in terms of wingage yet. I don't know how thick I'm going. You're going to find out as I find out. It just depends what mood I'm in. Oh yeah, I always lay it flat. Uh, just for this bit. Because you're just doing more surface area. And you're just risking screwing up otherwise. Uh, see. see? Do you see what's happened there? upsetting another problem is that because I'm so short because my eyesight is so horrific you may not believe this I'm, fil well, I'm filming this on my phone doing that this eye can't see what I'm doing over here so it's pretty much guesswork <laughs> that's how bad my eyesight is I'm due a test. I'm waiting for my exemption forms to come through um, so that I can go and get tested and get my new prescription because I know it will have changed. I've been for about, I think it's three and a half years. I think we just got Cala uh, when I last went. Should we do a wing, shall we? See, because I've got, I've not got mono lids, but I've got a bit of an overhang. It's what was archaically termed a Mongolian flap. Doesn't sound very pleasant, does it? Well, I haven't got full-on Mongolian flaps, but I do have a bit of a hooded lid, slightly. And that's why I struggle so much to even these little buggers up. And then before you know it, you've got like a three meter thick line around your bloody eye, haven't you? came out all right If you do have the kind of lid that I've got, it does help to stare straight ahead 
and do your flicks but because I've got such bad eyesight what I really need is some contact lenses I can wear just purely for applying makeup <laughs> um, but one can't help but think that, that may be something other than economical And I know when I go out in a while, I'm going to be met with calls of, oh, you're looking well, you're looking great. But just know that it is because I'm feeling like 10 is shit. 10 like suicide shit. One is that unattainable or maybe attainable, great day, best day of your life, you have a kid, you get married sort of day. Um, I tend to run on about a seven. Today's a six, which has enabled me to do this and to indeed go out. Um, the mascara I've been using is Lash Sensational, waterproof. Now, I had tossed this, but then decided to get it back out of my little empties collection because I don't know I know you're only meant to keep them for like three months but I think that as they get older they get like drier and you can work with them more I don't know I can anyway and it depends on the mascara like I've got one from um what's it called best lash extreme by Jordana I think is that is that an American brand? I know I got it online anyway. And it is a really good mascara, but it's just not waterproof. Um, I got Max Factor 2000 calorie waterproof volume and it is diabolical. It is absolute shit. I got it in the, it was really cheap at TK Maxx. So I should, it's my own fault, isn't it? It's my own fault. Now the trouble with this is it's so old. I, I have trouble opening it. So wish me luck. All right, here we go. Oh, the dog's buggering off now. She's had enough of me. She's get lost, Mum. Oh, no, she just stood at the end of... You all right, pup? You okay, girl? What you doing? What you doing? Are you looking at my makeup? Are you sniffing? Yeah. Whenever I put lipstick on, she comes and sniffs the lipstick. I think she likes the smell of it. Now I'm not lining my bottom lashes, also I haven't curled these bastards because I forgot. Because I was talking to you guys, who are probably not watching this. Honestly, if the three of you requested this, don't watch it, I'm going to be really pissed off. Although in honesty, my phone makes a better mirror than the mirror I've got, so... Maybe I shouldn't be too mad at you all. Christ. It's 28 minutes long. It's going to take a good long while to upload. In fact, by the time you see this, it may well be dark because I may have gone out. Oh, I just heard my dog trump. Did you hear that? It was like a little... Oh, she does cute trump. I mean, they stink, but they're so cute. Aww. Calla and her cute, trumpy bum. Look at the bloody difference it makes when you've got blonde eyelashes. It just changes your face, doesn't it? Have you seen that meme of... Um, Kermit the Frog where he's got no lashes on. Shush, Calla. Um, and I think he's meant to be that he's removed his falsies. Well, it's just how gingers and blondes look without mascara. If you start barking, Mrs. Mop. Oh, she's Hufflepuffling. This is what we call Hufflepuffling. And there's no reason for it other than I can hear some children outside. 
probably coming home from school and she wants to go and play with them. She loves kids. Not in a sexual way. <laughs> Sorry about the barking. And if you have a dog and that's triggered your dog to bark. Again, I'm sorry. She's lying down now in the hallway on her side, looking thoroughly sorry for herself. You'd think she had the shittest life, the way she acts, honestly. Like, she's fed the best food that we can afford, and it's not shit food by any imagination you know we it's grain free it's soy free it's within our budget but i'm sure there's better at well i know there are better foods out there but this is just we're doing what we can for her while we're in this financial situation that we're in and she gets plenty of walks mostly because i'm trying to I mean, she got walked before I was on this health kick, but she has had more walks since. Right, time to do the bottoms. Ah. I generally don't put much on the bottom lashes just because I do have quite long bottom lashes. So just put a tidgy little bit on. Should have curled them. Should have curled them. I used to cut my eyelashes off <clears throat> as part of my self hatred thing to do with being mental. Um, thankfully, I don't do that now. I just pick, pick massive holes into my scalp instead. <laughs> See, that would be, that doesn't look too bad. Um, but we're not going to leave it there. We're going to apply some cream blush. And it is Rimmel Royal Blush Cream Blush. I don't know if it's got a colour, has it? Coral Queen. Queen. It doesn't even look remotely coral when I put it on. Not on me, anyway. Dog's back. Hi, Kella. You saying hi? You saying hi? Do you want your makeup done? Do you want mum to do your makeup for you? Yeah. She's like, piss off mum, you stupid cow, I'm a dog. Fair play. Now I don't put this directly on the fattest part of my cheek because I have got fat cheeks. So I put it just a little bit further behind. Uh, Mark? Dog's just run off with something. Could you collect it off her? I don't know what it is because I haven't got my glasses on. And I'm filming. I'm being a YouTuber. Hello. What's she got? I've not got my glasses on, love. Okay, uh, bubble thing. All right, well, you put it on the dressing table for me, doll. Thanks, love. See, that's not remotely coral, is it? It's just pink. It's just pink. But we work with it. Now, do you remember that eyebrow colour? And these little things that you used to get in the benefit 
boxes like hula bronzer and all that I never had the hula bronzer because it frankly would have looked hilarious on me um, now I'm going to mix those two eyebrow colours together also the crease colour intensify the cheek region Whee, look how fast I'm going Woo but only at the very 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 top like you don't end up with like a big brown line maybe you do if you do do it I'm on a makeup Nazi. There we go. And then the very famous is it by Rimmel? I think it is, isn't it? It's that powder. Look at it. I've hit I've well and truly hit pan. It's the um, transparent shade. So now that I've finished with all of my cream products, and I'm sure I have, I can go over T-Zone. I don't really tend to have that oily of a T-Zone, um, which is surprising for a woman of meat. Not that I eat meat. I mean, I, I'm, I'm meaty. You know what I mean? I'm bulky. Although I'm becoming bulk less right so now I've got a powdered skin I can finish my powder products so I'm going to use Master Sculpt by Maybelline I don't know if it's got a colour um, if it has I imagine it'll be the lightest one I don't know I've got it for Christmas oh here we go light medium and it's got like a highlighting shade that is crap and the bronze shade that's less crap and I use the massive brush swirl them all together blow loads off tap them off on the back of my hand so basically I've got the least amount possible because as I said at the beginning women like me we don't have orange faces we just don't go orange like red haired women with blue eyes Orange is not a colour that happens for us. And the dog's grumbling in the background. She's like, no, you do go orange, mum. You do. I've seen you go orange. That's when I fucked up with makeup, probably. And then what I've been doing, because obviously, look at the colour of my face and look at the colour of my neck been dragging that down just a wee bit I've actually got collarbones coming through now so I've been putting it on the collarbone a little bit and a little bit on the throat like I used to think that people who made YouTube videos and did like makeup tutorials thought they were like fit you know, like, oh yeah, I'm proper fit. I'm going to do makeup and show show the world how to do it. It's not. <laughs> like, I, I make, this is like the second video I've ever made and probably the last one I'll ever make. And I can tell you now that the reason I've done it is because I just really like putting makeup on. And when I posted that little video and someone acted interested, I don't know, I just felt like... <laughs> really chipper and I've just realised I didn't put liquid highlighter on and I've put all my powder products on <laughs> so we're going to break the rules rules are made to be broken they're not, they're made to be adhered to now this is in 002 vanilla by gosh Lumi Drops they were as cheap as shit. I think I bought them uh, because I had to withdraw some money one day after a doctor's appointment to get home. And like it costs like £2.40 to get home and they always act like an arse when I try and get on with the tenner. So I just thought, well, I'll buy the cheapest thing. And that happened to be it that day. Right, see now, put the drops down. Can't find them. There they are. I'm really not using much at all. It's like... 
and it's just top of the cheekbone to begin with at least and then I may well squidge a little bit more out onto my hand and put some down the bridge of my snout and keep it bow so accentuating the top lip makes the top lip look fuller Con contour colour there makes the bottom lip look fuller I'm sure you all know this preaching to the choir I'm teaching my grandmother how to suck eggs are there any other things that mean the same thing yeah I've really become obsessed with sort of like bronzing up my fod just because it makes it look smaller and I'm really like conscious of having a massive forehead I always have been I don't know why and then when I lost hair after taking Depakote hi <sighs> baby Right, okay, right, now it's time for me to put my glasses on and to go to, th to the lipsticks. They're in a drawer in my dressing table. This is the lipstick bag. It's got, I've got some liquid lipsticks that I got for Christmas. Um, and then we've got an array of lipsticks. We've got some that are so old that I keep, I don't wear, I just keep them for nostalgic purposes. This is a bourgeois lipstick in, um, from Boiseline. And it, I had it when I was going out, when I was going out with Siri and living with him. And I just keep it purely for that. And the smell just is very nostalgic to me. Um, I mean, I'm not like a hoarder or anything. <laughs> But I just, there's a few select items that I have kept over the years. Um, I, and I used to keep literally everything to do with him. But I realised it just simply wasn't practical. And also, you know, memories aren't in items. Memories are in your mind. And for as long as you've got your mind, you've got your memories, I suppose. So, but it is easy. It's really so easy to become attached to material things. Um, but I digress uh, I'm using Toast Lip Liner Moisture Extreme by Maybelline I got this on eBay a really freaking long time ago like all of this makeup I bought ages ago apart from the eyeliner which has turned out okay Can sit, come on Considering I've done this on a phone and this won't be edited at all, I've done a really fucking good job of that. The dog next to me again. Hi, Calavi. Apparently, Kate Winslet, when she's having her makeup done, she'll allow the makeup artist, who's usually usually Lisa Eldridge, to do all of her makeup, but she likes to do her own lips, a bottom lip, and I understand why because my lip at the bottom, I don't know, you get to know your own face shape. Kala, can you not run off with that bag? Mark, husband to be, light of my life. The dog, the dog is is tearing off a bag. You can throw it away. I was using it to keep that powder in because the lid broke. All right, I'm going to use a couple of liquid lipsticks now. Um, the first one, these were Christmas presents, and I absolutely love them by NYX. I've no idea if they're cruelty free. Probably not. Don't know. I do care but I've got them so I'm using them. This one is in the colour can. Oh they smell like vanilla. They're so gorgeous. By the way this is not like one of those things where I'm like cracking on how amazing all these makeup products are. Because I'm part of a pyramid scheme where I'm trying to sell them to you. 
Look how, look how long my eyelashes grew in three days. And they go on so velvety, they're so nice. I mean, it's called a soft matte lip cream and that was the colour Cam. And then to make my lips appear plumper, because I used to have a massive pout and having so many lip piercings like I had the Medusa there, it's caused some of the lip tissue to go inside that it looking like not fair. And I had that and that, so it's totally screwed up my mouth. Regrets. I had a few. So I'm using a slightly light, lighter colour in the centre of the lip. This is called Athens. It's exactly the same product. Uh, soft matte lip cream. You can hear a noise. I think Mark's messing about with some tin foil. Are you cooking yourself some fish, love? Yeah. He's pescatarian. I'm vegematarian. And the dog's kind of like, if it's there, I'll try it. Right, so I think I'm about done. I've got to go and dry this wig. I've let it air dry mostly. Um, let's try and get this video uploaded, shall we? And you three people who requested it, I better have fucking watched to the end or I'm going to be really mad. See ya.